I'm Ramiro Lopez. You may know me from such films as Illusions of the Mind. I am the light. We are the light. We are the light. We will be together. And we will be together. We'll be together forever. We'll be together forever. We'll be together in light. We'll be together in light. We will bring other people to the light. This light is love. This light we share together. But you will embrace it. Inside. Or inside the belly of the beast. It's too late for you, my friend. Bro, whatever you want. I, I, I got you, man. You ain't, bro, you ain't even gonna do it. Bro, you ain't even gonna do it. This world has no more to offer you. Bro, man, I ain't even do shit, man. Let, bro, you ain't gotta do this, man. Fuck you! Bitch! <laughs> 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 You'll see. You'll come to the light. I've got plans for you. Whoa! I don't deserve this shit, bro. We all come back. I don't deserve this, bro. I got a family, bro. Let me go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> These are dangerous films to watch. They're gonna take your mind into a deep, dark place. They're directed by Jackie Terry. We co direct other films, much like the one we're gonna talk about today The Drop Off. You heard it from the man himself. Romero Lopez, co-film director, co-filmer, actor, martial arts trainer. I mean, highly skilled and a model to the things. Um, very, very skilled person. And in this video, we're going to talk about how we shot the drop-off. A lot of people tapped into the drop-off. I mean, a lot of people liked the way it was filmed. They thought it was very, very realistic. And what I want to say, man, is how did you, what did you do to create those angles? How did you feel filming the drop off with K.O. Grounds, Jackie Terry, Jay Vassar? There was a lot of different characters in this film. How did you bring that film to life? Well, you know, Jackie, uh, you've shown me a lot about how to move around with the camera. And the camera, you know, tells no lies. So whatever you put in front of it, it's gonna, this is what people are gonna see and you say so you gotta put the best things in front of it and so I capture like, I try to capture all the, uh, the hot, the hot footage, the, um, the lights, the people, their faces, their eyes, their body gestures, yes. their, uh, the body language and their communication between one another, you know, that's something that I kind of focus on. When somebody looks at somebody else, they're communicating something, whether they say it with their hands and their face and their body language. And that other person, when they understand what this person's saying, they receive it in a body gesture. And then they express themselves back and it's a back and forth communication. And so I try to capture that. And with what you've shown me, Jackie, I try to capture this body movement and that body movement. And the, the reception, the toss and the catch that is the communication that goes on. Um, you know, and we get these people to act out these scenes. Yes. And we get them to practice them so that when they do, uh, when we do get our final cut, that they're already like, they're being serious in the moment. They're really communicating. They're really sending this message and that message. Right. Comes out natural. We pretty much tell the actor what to do before they do it you know they they get entwined with their character first and 
like I said, you do a really good job in front of that camera creating the angles. One of the angles I liked in the film is when Cecil Ducksworth opened up the briefcase and you were able to capture everybody's facial expression. You caught Jay Bassett's facial expression where he was leaning on the car. You caught everybody behind me, you know, and that was just a deciding moment of the whole film because that was like the anticipation and the way you captured it, you, it made people look like, damn, the, the, the audience, I'm pretty sure, there was a lot of people that came up and told me, they was like, damn, man, they, they were anticipating what was inside the briefcase. <laughs> so the, just the way you filmed it, I mean, that part was incredible, man. It was, like, what do you got to say about that particular moment when you filmed it? Well, um, you know, I was just being inside of the mind of a spectator. I was just thinking that I'm somebody there who wants to see everything. And if I was somebody's little brother who was standing in the background, and I just wanted to look around and, and figure out what exactly was going on here, that this is the way I would look at it. I would look over here and I would look at the briefcase and I would look at this guy and try to figure out what's going through his mind. And then I would look at these guys who are talking and try to figure out what's going on through their minds. And so I just wanted to kind of hold on each one for a second and then look at the briefcase because this is what they're all, all focused on. And, and then look at the main guy, which is Cecil Ducksworth, Jackie's character who's coming in, who seems to be the main focus of attention. And so I wanted to get on him. And the leaders of the gang and this dark guy Jay Vassar playing the role of what was his name? His name was Crazy Jay. I just came up with a name from just out the spare moment. I'm like, hey Jay, we're gonna call you Crazy Jay. And his main perception, you did a really good job of his character. But what I told Jay to do was just not to say nothing, but just to act serious. Act and so he he had that dark, mysterious role, like. And, and that's something a lot of people cling on to. So, I mean, there's a lot of people who um, can relate to somebody just sitting there. You know, they've got their own intentions, but you don't know what they are because some people just don't like to speak. And they may be up to no good. They may be packing heat. You never know. So, I just, that's, that's one of the, the best characters that I know of that he right. deserves his own light and shit. Yeah. Right, right. You did a good job of when filming Jay bringing his character out and even the other actors um, they acted into it they were like hey Cecil who is this guy right here and Jay was already in character with his you know hands crossed and you were able to capture that you know so it's almost to a certain extent like when you're filming this like you said you are the spectator you are the brother it's almost like you're watching the movie so what I'm going to do Romero right now is I'm going to give you this camera, pretty much the same camera you were filming with, the uh, Canon 77D. Pretty much the same thing. And you just explain to your audience how you film certain moments. When Cecil, were, um, when Cecil opened up the bookcase, how did you stabilize the camera? There were a lot of smooth shots you got in this film. What did you do? Well, you got to have a hand focusing the lens at all time, and it helps to have the flip out. But I just kind of, I just kind of wanted to look over the shoulder, you know. And I wanted to be like I was kind of the little brother or just a nosy body looking over the shoulder. I've always been, you know, in in uh, situations where high level people or people doing big things, you know, would let me. I was always like a right hand man to somebody. Business deals of all types. And so I know what it's like just to look over the shoulder and see everything. And so I wanted to kind of be up there where I could get a good shot on everything in the briefcase and the facial expressions of everybody. Because that's what I'm always curious about. Like, is everything here going on that, that I think is going on legit? Or is there something I'm not seeing? So I want everybody to be able to look at everything so that there's nothing hidden. You know, I want the camera to tell the truth, the whole truth. I want to catch everything. And I also, I don't want to get bad shots. So if there's something like trees that I don't like, I'm shooting downwards so I don't see those trees. Right. Or if there's something like a car that I want to see, 
I'm shooting where the car is in the background and I focus in and I focus out and I keep the car in the background. That's kind of what I do. Very good, there were just on multiple good angles throughout the whole drop off film and I, I believe that's what a lot of people tapped into it. Half of it, it's a team effort. Half of it has to do with the actors and the majority of it has to do with the person filming it. And like I said, you did a great job just holding that camera steady, getting different angles, um, allowing other actors to tell their story with their body language. So you did a very good job. And one more final question I wanted to ask you. As a filmer, are you, are you willing to step into the director's seat and start directing your own films in the near future? Do you have any other ideas that you have? I'm actually very excited uh, to step in the director's seat. Um, I've learned a lot, uh, especially about what the camera can see and how to tell a story. And it's very exciting to me the prospect of telling my own story or putting something together, uh, possibly creating a better picture than anyone's ever seen before, maybe or. You know, just telling a story like as good as somebody else. And, man, I can't wait. I've actually got something that works right now. Uh, it's going to be a short film. Um, it's going to involve action, an action scene, possibly starring me, uh, possibly starring my friend Jackie Terry, and um, even some co workers of ours. You know, people. We encourage everybody to get involved with this. We want to make this as big as possible. So every person that we can get involved counts. I plan to shoot, uh, send like a message on Facebook all over Kansas City. I want to reach everybody in Kansas City and tell them, hey, we've got a video shoot. Feel encouraged to join in. If, if there's a role that we don't have filled, we can just find somebody else to stick in that role and we can make whatever we have imagined possible, make it come to life. And so, yeah, I think it's very exciting. I'm very much encouraged to continue going with this idea that I've got for this movie, short film. And um, yeah, anybody who's been in any of our films, feel free to contact us too. You know, we're always coming out with new stuff. We're open to any ideas and uh, we'll try to make it magic.